Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. So last time we built this, uh, which is burning down here. You might want to get that sorted out, mate. You might, you might want to get that fixed. Uh, so that we could do this. We drained the entire sea. You can see these pumps are keeping the sea at bay. Uh, but this time I wanted to try and create my underwater city, which won't really be underwater. It'll just be under sea level. Uh, and I was, I was trying to think what's the best way of doing this because obviously just building like a wall around a city and putting it lower than the sea is that impressive i don't know really but if i could do like a circle of pumps and make that keep the sea at bay that could be very cool the only trouble is i'm not a hundred percent sure if these pump the water if they're like down there because i think say say that building there that i'm pointing out say it was like down at that level i think it would just get swamped i think it would literally just flood so let's hit pause and then let's do a little test. Now, the other thing I worry about as well, actually, I don't think you can place these pumps unless they're on a shoreline. Although, if we change our very, very dapper looking hard hat bird, we turn anarchy on so he disappears. Can we now place these anywhere? No, it still says shoreline required. Oh, that's annoying. So we basically need a body of water in order to place them. Annoying but okay. Right, so first off, we're going to go into this tool, the landscaping and disasters tool, and we're going to level the terrain. We're going to flatten out an area to have our city. So we'll increase the size by selecting the large brush, and then we'll pick a level. Oh my god, look at those contours. It's the strongest contours. <laughs> All right, so we need to pick like a lowish level, I guess. And then we're just going to make a flat area. Let's say like that to start with. And then in order to get pumps around the outside, we're going to have to do like a little trench. So if we change the size to a little bit smaller, and then we pick a level lower than that. And we should be able to go around the outside making a little ditch type thing. All right, so now if we play that, the water that's there should hopefully disperse a little bit it's not going to disperse a lot it's it's just evaporated uh, but can we add water water structures no i thought we could set water levels for some reason maybe we can't i mean i guess we could tsunami it <laughs> no i'll tell you what we'll do we'll take some water from this river so if we do a slope terrain tool we can say go from there down to here and if we just do a straight line that should do a slope the entire way and then because the straight line is it's on fill over here we're gonna have to do a little bit of a hill on either side and if we remove a few of these speed up time and then hopefully we've made like a fake water shoot now i haven't had much experience playing with actual water physics in this game poo physics yes oh my god it's a punami there's literally a punami like look at that the bridge has been swallowed by a tidal turd plenty of poo physics but this is the first time we've actually controlled normal water but that's looking good that should flow down there and then hopefully surround our circle i tell you what i might actually you make the platform a little bit higher if we select like that level there you go i think that's better i'm just iron out the creases and then hopefully this island will be surrounded soon because uh, that means we can then hit pause and we can build our pumps all the way around so let's try that now hopefully this island will count a shoreline yes it does it does, so we can surround this thing. And I'm going to turn on Fine Road Anarchy. And basically, that's just a mod that allows you to overlap buildings. Because I think the more these are overlapped, the more pumps there are, the better they'll work. And if we have any chance of this working, this is what we're going to have to do. Right, so they're all built. We can then just connect them up. And as soon as they're connected, they start pumping. They don't actually need power, which is quite unusual. Right, so they're all connected up. Let's hit play and then... Look at that. The water is instantly drained. Yes, we get the electricity warning, but uh, don't worry. It doesn't actually mean anything. So next up, I might delete all of these pumps and just fill in the sea. So if we literally select all of that and we just say delete, boosh. We delete all the trees as well. Oops. But then this river is free to flow once again. And I think I'm just going to do this as the sort of the test. I am a bit scared of deleting all these pumps and just letting the sea back in. I'll tell you what, we could even do a couple of different options. We could have this one at like low sea level. We could do another one over here, like with pumps on berms maybe, like a bit higher. And then perhaps we could do a third one that's just like normal, like just sea walls. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll build some sea walls around here. So actual sea level is up there. So we probably want to go like halfway up, like that sort of level maybe. So when we build our berms, oh, they are high. They are high. Right, so we've got that. We're then going to surround this with pumps. 
Although, obviously, we can't do that yet because it's not shoreline. Okay, so we'll let things float. But then I think for the third test, we're going to do one at the upper level. So that level on top. Oh, no, no. Look at this. Look at this. So it hasn't worked. The pumps are overcome. So ground level pumps are a no. It's completely wrecked. It just didn't stand a chance. Let's be honest. All right, so we're just waiting for this one to be surrounded by sea. I'll tell you what, that is a shame. That is a shame, that one. I wonder if we had like more rows or something. I don't I don't know how I'd do that though. But uh, this one is getting surrounded. So let's start filling this up with pumps. I think that's the trouble. I think the pumps only work if they're above the water they're pumping, which I guess makes sense. All right, I'll tell you what, this is taking too long. Sod it. We're going to delete some of this. So let's delete this stretch of pumps. Boosh. All right, so sea come on down so the sea is now entering the sea in a slow way it's, it's taking a while but look at that wave <laughs> oh it's beautiful all right there we go there we go that should fill up in no time and hopefully allow us to build a few more pumps there we go goodbye dry patches oh nice you can see the blue moving loads we can easily surround this now all right so hopefully once the water gets up to the top it will still stay back it might not though but uh we'll connect these up anyway and see how we get on all right so those pumps are all on you can see it is sort of making some dry patches i don't really want it to be dry but i do want there to be a clear dip between the actual sea level and the by pump sea level i don't know if that is happening though anyway our third one which is the top level that needs pumps as well so i'll do that oh, actually no it doesn't need pumps it doesn't need pumps matt it just needs to be higher than the sea so we'll go over here and we'll just make sure we are higher than the sea the trouble is i don't know i don't know where the water level is oh is it that one is it that blue that's like a blue contour or is it just is that just a major contour hang on let's go what would that be 10 one two three four five oh, i think it's just a major contour because can you see that one there is thicker i'm not sure i'm not sure if that's sea level or if it's just a major one i think it's just major anyway do i start building a city in here or is that dangerous i mean look at this one <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I didn't start building a city in that one. That's for sure. All right, I'm deleting all of these inner edge pumps because uh, we want the sea level to rise on the inside now. All right, these pumps definitely aren't working as I thought they would. I thought the water would like do a proper angle like it did over there. What I might do, just to double check, I might just build some power plants. So first off, we build a road. Let me say go around the outside. Well, go around the outside of the inside and then just coal power plants. All right, there we go. They've got... Oh my God. Oh, am I an idiot? Don't answer that, anyone. Oh, don't say... Oh no. <laughs> I think my whole last video where I was doing these super pumps if i just gave them electricity they would have worked fine is that right that might just be a coincidence i'm not sure what i'm gonna do though i'm gonna try and turn these on yes they are flooded so what if we just do a bit of that bung a rodent and then bung some coal plants on there oh my god it's drained okay it's literally drained everything look how much the sea is drained okay i'm gonna get rid of all of these pumps and then all of these walls i can't believe i was potentially that stupid in the last video all right if these pumps now work and they can hold back the actual entire sea that will be amazing so do we just let all the sea in that sounds dangerous right level terrain let's get rid of these berms all right then we'll press play and we'll see what this tidal wave does oh dear i may have deleted a bit too much wool i don't think anything will survive that will it oh, wait not enough fuel oh no <laughs> oh it definitely didn't work we flooded our atlantis <laughs> You can see, though, it's putting up a fight. It is putting up a fight. I think it would have got swamped, even if we let the water in slowly, though. Yeah, so that's a bit annoying. <laughs> Look at this getting eaten. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and even our big one. Our big one was not big enough. Uh, I, I did a knob shape, in case you hadn't already seen it. Oh, we've made a bath. We've made a bath. All right, well, while that's happening, I think I might just call in an actual disaster of a tsunami, because I want to see what happens. So tsunami attack there how does that work like we've got the man-made tsunami coming is there going to be a bigger one behind it i can't even tell what's a tsunami and what's just me moving the sea tell you what let's meteor strike the sea and we'll see if that makes a tsunami oh wow oh god that's a lot of water uh i think that's the tsunami then look at all these cars getting washed away no oh dear 
That is one way to get rid of traffic. All right, and now the meteor, it's just hit the sea. Boosh. <laughs> okay, so now we've got a double tsunami going on. Wow, that's quite a water drop, that is. So yeah, over here, they're really, really not coping very well. Traffic going completely the wrong direction. Look at the river. Like, <laughs> I really messed this up. Oh, look, the boats are happy. The boats are back in. Oh, he's heading right for a wave. He's going to jump Whoa, straight through. <laughs> Straight through where the meteor hit. Oh, no. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's heading to the bathtub. No. Oh. <laughs> what the frick? Well, that was unexpected. Anyway, at least now I feel like we've learned something. So we can do this properly, making a real Atlantis. Hopefully without all this flooding. Although, look, the bridge survived. All right, so we're back in before we ruined the floodgates. And I've gone for a triangle this time. My second favorite shape. And on top, I found, where was it? In the water structures tab, there's actual flood walls. So we can just plonk these on top, I think. Look how small the flood wall is like, compared to that. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. But I'm pretty sure with these, you can then like, cut away at the land and you can go up to the wall. There you go. We can maximize the space. So we're going to level this inside area. And I guess we may as well do the outside as well. Make it look nice and neat. All right, there we are. Hopefully for this version, we won't need any pumps at all. All right, so we might want a bridge over to here, which means we'll need some way for people to get down from the top as well. We haven't actually got access to anything. Can I? Yes, there you go. Okay, we've unlocked everything, which means we can build whatever we want. So first off, how are people going to get to this city? Are we going to do a bridge or are we just going to have like ferries or maybe an airport? I mean, we could technically do a tunnel. That could be cool. All right, so let's grab a highway. This is two lane with one lane going in each direction. That sounds good. So if we start that like there and then we go down, we are then in a tunnel so we can go to the mainland. We'll call this Atlantis Road. Very original map. Then we'll do an off ramp over to there. We'll do another one from there so people can access from both sides. So we got a roundabout. Delete the arms. Put in our new arms. And with roundabouts, you always try and do like a little curve as you get to it. So say we got this massive straight road, we wouldn't just connect straight to a roundabout like that. What we would actually do in real life is we'd perhaps curve one way and then the other way because it just it just sort of makes you realize as you're driving like, oh, hang on, there's a curve. There's another curve. Got to slow down. There's a roundabout coming. But that's all connected now. So if we follow this very straight road, it goes... <laughs> goes into the beach and then heads straight over here to our Atlantis Triangle, uh, which seems to be filling up nicely. I'm going to speed up time whilst I build this. And then essentially, I just want to build a city. So we'll do a load of roads like that. We'll connect them together every so often like that. And we'll do some residential areas, some commercial. Oh, look, the first people, they've already built a building. I haven't got any services yet. All right, so we'll get the drainage in. We then need to pump drinking water from somewhere. Apparently this all counts as shoreline. So can we like, can we just shove it there? So if we connect that up, is that pumping drinking water from, from down here? We need to power it to wind turbines. I might turn on anarchy again, just so I can shove wind turbines on the flood wall. I think that would be quite sensible. We're going to have so much power down here. All right, nice. Unfortunately, we took too long. This building's been abandoned already. <laughs> So let's delete that and we'll see if anyone else moves in. <laughs> oh, it's quite terrifying, actually. Below sea level and windmills. It's sort of like the Netherlands, actually. Aha, look, we've got new inhabitants. Uh, they've got no water or electricity, apparently. Or do they have water? It says they don't have water. I assume it's because because I think it's because that's just pumping the ground and not the water. Okay, okay, new plan, new idea. We take our pipe network underground and up to these pumps. So then we can shove a windmill on there. So they're working. And then do we have water? I think we have water, but now we can't poo. Oh my goodness, what happened? Why is there a tidal wave? Our windmills just got destroyed by a tidal wave. Oh God, this is the first real test for Atlantis. This... Why did that happen? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's gonna... Oh, what a splash. Oh, dear. It's gone straight through the flood walls. Oh, no. My inhabitants. I'm sorry. Oh, 
park. <laughs> wow, look at the water bouncing around though. That's quite cool. Okay, I'll tell you what, it's not too late to save this. I think if we go back to our massive pump, we can plonk one there. And as long as we connect it up, that should start draining the water. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, what a disaster. I I'm guessing it did that because I gave this power. Okay, so we're gonna have to find somewhere else to get our drinking water from. And to be honest, I don't think we want to drink the seawater. So let's get some water pumps there. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I could have just used a large water tower. That makes way more sense. Right, okay, we just got to fix this small little problem first. All right, there we go. Hopefully we can train this. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think this would be so complicated. Tell you what, perhaps we should just install emergency pumps just in case. All right, so there you go. It's dry again. It's dry. Hopefully these trees will grow back. Uh, people are complaining there's nowhere to poo. Okay, okay, we can fix that without doing a sewage outlet. Now we've got everything unlocked. There's all sorts of cool things like all of these, like a water treatment plant. Yes, we'll put one of those in over there. Connect it up to the grid. Nice. I think we can get rid of the pumps in here. And then the drinking water situation i think we can just use these large water towers and then we just need a bit of electricity so we've just got to temporarily do some pylons right and there we go and now we've got the basics we can start building everything we need so i can see someone's already died so let's get crematorium or something get a hospital down here fire station police station We'll educate people. Right. And here we are at the center of our Atlantis city. If we zoom out, look at that. It is beautiful. Oh, no. Is that another tidal wave? Okay, it's only a little tidal wave. Ah, no. Why did that happen? Right. Pump, pumps. <laughs> I need you to pump like you've never pumped. It was really, it was going so well. Where did that come from? Idle waves are a nightmare in this game. <laughs> Although it looks like down here, our pumps are sorting it out. Although that building got destroyed, whatever that was. But yeah, I've, I've enjoyed building this. We got like vertical farms. We got the world's shortest chairlift. We've got a mega modern stadium and its little brother. Yeah, quite liking it down here. Very, very cool. You can see we are just above sea level. So we're all good i'm glad i installed those pumps though because we do get the odd tidal wave look you can see it heading towards shore like why where did you come from <laughs> i don't know but yeah not gonna lie i am well chuffed with that well chuffed so on that note i think we will say peace love and triangular atlantises i'll catch you guys next time bye